Welcome back to our video series on ventilation and infection control. The physical environment can play a big role in patient healing, particularly when it comes to temperature and humidity. It's important to understand the effects of temperature and humidity on the body's ability to heal and how they relate to the spread of germs. But first, let's clarify a few terms. When we talk about humidity in healthcare, we use the term relative humidity. Relative humidity is a ratio or percentage of how much water vapor is currently in the air versus how much water vapor could potentially be in the air. At 100% relative humidity, the air is fully saturated, meaning it can't hold any more water vapor. Indoor temperature and humidity play a role in bacterial and fungal growth and is important for patient's comfort. When a patient is uncomfortable, it can cause unnecessary physiological stress, which can impact healing. The reason we talk about temperature and humidity together is because they are directly linked. Air at 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 40% relative humidity will feel much more comfortable than air at 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 80% relative humidity. Most areas of the hospital have minimum and maximum relative humidity ranges of 30% to 60%. When the relative humidity is above 60%, it not only causes patient discomfort, but it can begin to promote fungal growth. On the other hand, we need some humidity in the air because it helps reduce how far germs can travel in the air, which is why most areas have a minimum of 30% relative humidity. Your facilities teams are required to monitor temperature and relative humidity in critical areas, such as sterile supply rooms and surgical suites. This is normally done through sensors that tie into the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or HVAC units. In some hospitals, all areas have these sensors, including patient rooms. You can do your part to keep your patients comfortable and control the spread of germs by asking your facilities team to check temperature and humidity levels if a room or area feels too dry, too humid, too hot, or too cold.